latest, your lady's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. In love with her yeah. attic, but fuck with her basement. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Hit up my yeah. plug, that nigga they Vegas. Yo, what is up? It's your boy, it's Wigs, back with another video. And today we're gonna talk about what I wanna see in Destiny 2. Part two. Now I did a video about this a while back, a while, while back, before they even started talking about Destiny 2. I have it on my channel. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, and uh I'm just doing a recap and what I want to see of now from what I know and what I've seen about Destiny 2 so far. Now it is not out until September sometime. Uh what like September, I think eighth or twelfth or something. I think it's eighth. Uh, but of course we got the beta coming and all that good stuff like that. So uh, shout out to Eric's um, Eric's gaming, and uh, I always use his footage because he does a lot of great breakdown videos and research and stuff like that. And usually when I get my Destiny news, it's from him and a couple other sources. But I just really like him as a YouTuber and the videos and the con content he put out. So I got his information playing in the background. I don't have any audio because I want to talk about just what I think and what I want to see in Destiny 2. Now, Destiny 2, uh, Destiny 1, of course, didn't did not have a story driven. It was very messed up. It was a very messed up story situation. How one of the one of the uh, people that was involved with the story quit and they had to revamp the story. So it really wasn't a story in Destiny 1. It got all fucked up, but the original story was lit. Like it was a great story. So I want to see them bring back that story mode, that 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 lore. Even though they had the Grimoire cards, which was whack as fuck to me. But um, there is a video online where a guy he actually puts together all the Grimoire cards and uh tells the story of Destiny the Lore, aka the lore. If you guys are familiar with lore and games, is basically the story behind what's going on so um i just want them to bring back that that story aspect of destiny because honestly it's a great it's a great outlet for a story like it's a great genre it's it's dope like it's super dope so i just want them to bring back that aspect of destiny a better story a broader story um because they can it's so many twists and turns that they can do with this game. Um, and I just want them to bring back that story aspect. Now, the PvE aspect, the uh, uh, player versus environment, um, and just all-out questing, bounties, uh, and stuff like that. I don't think they should get rid of that. I think they should stay on that road. But go in a little bit more depth with the uh, bounties. like Or uh, make it where it's a bounty to actually hunt. Uh, NPC uh, that you have to fight where it, it's actually instead of just going in you do a bounty and it's somewhere out in the patrol area where you actually do a mission and you got to infiltrate like a hideout or something like that and and collect a bounty for this dude like actually make it an actual bounty mission where you and four other players or you and three other guys can actually go in and, and do a bounty and not make it a nightfall strike or a strike just to do it. Like actually make it a bounty mission where you got to find people and actually do it. Um, as far as like the PVP bounties and stuff like that, that's cool. I don't, I'm not really a big PVP fan in Destiny. I play PVP. I'm pretty good at it. But I'm really like in tune with Iron Banner. And you, I do a little bit of supremacy and stuff like that. But I'm not really a big big like trials type player and flawless trials and shit like that like i don't i'm a really i'm a pve player i like to do the raids i like to do you know go in and do missions and stuff like that like that's that's the type of person i am i i just like that but i do like the occasional pvp but it's not really my thing in destiny like a lot of people thrive on the pvp i don't really thrive on it like that it's cool but it's not a big 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 issue for me but if it's something that i do want like a gun or some armor or just something dope like that i will play pvp to get it like i will farm the shit out of it to get it um but as far as that i think they're doing pretty good with the bounties and, and everything like that i just wish they would go into a little bit more deeper bounty system mission system 
Um, as far as, all right, on the next topic, as far as like, uh, weapon, weapon drops, um, I want to say weapon armor and just RNG in general. Now I want them to keep the concept that they have as far as drops. Every player has its own separate drops in the server. That's dope, but make it as far as trading I want them to put a trading system, some type of trading system in it, where basically um, you can go in and they have like a, a, a Borderlands type trading, a World of Warcraft type tra trading, where it's like a bind on equip, like certain items you can't trade and certain items you can trade. Um, but as soon as you equip it, it's not tradable. I wish they would do something like that or incorporate something like that or at least if they don't want to do that at least do material training where you could trade somebody armor materials or relics or you know iron relics or something like that spin metal but make it where it's tradable or sellable where you can actually sell it to somebody or trade it to somebody or sell it and trade it like you know what i'm saying some kind of like a, a um economy system like that and i know destiny is not an mmo it's a it's a first person it's a first person rpg basically a first person shooter rpg that's really what it is like an action first person shooter rpg but i would just wish they would bring the core elements of somewhat of an mmo or rpg to this um i like i like what they're doing with the engrams and stuff like that but i wish you could at least trade purples and blues which blues don't really matter for real nowadays like i mean but if they did incorporate where you could trade the blues make it where the blues are actually upgradable where you could take a blue and upgrade it to a purple or take a purple upgrade it to a exotic you know or take an exotic and max it out and upgrade it into like a uh something something beyond the exotic but it doesn't break the barrier of being a op ass weapon like i wish they would do something like that but i'm really just kind of bumping off topic I, I just want them to bring a trading system some type of trading system like a bind on equip or just some kind of element of trading would be fucking dope to me if they was to do that um now um as far as armor guns and stuff like that i think they're pretty cool on that i just would like to see like i said in the first video aesthetics instead of like skins on guns and shaders and stuff like that i want to see actually aesthetics where i can change out a scope and it'll put critical damage on there i could change out a clip and it'll put maximum clip ammo or something like that but also keep the tree the um leveling tree on a gun but make it where I could go find, you know, like clips out in the world, drops, clips, barrels, um, stocks and stuff like that for my gun. Now, that'll be lit. If they was to do that, that'll be super dope, man. If I was to get a hand cannon, put a long barrel on there, a longer barrel or a sight or put a clip on there on a hand cannon or something like that. That'll be crazy. That'd be crazy to me. I just wish they would have more gun aesthetics. That's what I want them to add in Destiny 2. Um, another thing I would like to add as far as armor, like multiple color shaders where I can actually take a piece of armor and add a shader, but also be able to change the colors within the patterns, like in a shirt or a cloak or, you know, just really a, a really advanced coloring system. Uh, as far as armor and stuff like that and that'll be crazy to me man like if they was to do that that'd be crazy but i'm more so an aesthetic player i like the aesthetics of my character and the way he looked and the uniqueness of my 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 character i wish they would add that and um for some reason i want them to add a bigger fire team and like a five man is straight i would like them to add six and do a four man group instead of a three. If they was to do four man, a four man group, and then do uh do a four man group and then do 
a six man like fire team that would be kind of dope to me honestly um i feel like if they was to do that that would be that would be dope but then again it would be a six man raid or yeah 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 a six man raid a four man like fire team like party as far as going to go do quests and stuff like that and missions and bounties together it'll be four man instead of three six man raid and then um it, it going beyond past doing a six man raid uh going beyond past that would be like a 10 man raid and stuff like that but that's going into a mmo uh type feel and i'm not for sure i haven't raided in a long time i don't know if it's six or five man i think it's five man but i haven't done it i'm, I'm having a complete brain fart like i'm pretty sure raids are five five or six I, I can't remember man and that's and i play this game damn near every single day and i st and i just forgot that but um i would just like to see a bigger like party fire team like instead of three people i would like to do a four that i, I would like to see that in there um and as far as story i mean like i said they just hit the story a little bit better than destiny one man um and uh content like as far as expansions and stuff like that i thought they did pretty good in destiny one with that but the the events and updates i was not feeling it like it was too many dry patches in destiny like way way too many like at one point in time i took a two month three month break from destiny because there was not shit to do in destiny like me and my boy we ran through all the content like i'm still not like level 400 and that's just because i don't raid that much like raids take time and i don't really raid that much but like i used to but the content that they was throwing at us me and my boy my boy uh shout out to cuz i kill we ran we was running through that shit and it was just like nothing to do in destiny it was literally just a nightfall you do the nightfall strike and see what you got and got offline it was not nothing to do so i feel like they need to roll out more events now dlc and expansions i can understand that but at least events that you could roll out and make the events have better mission content bounty contents reward content don't just give us a broad thing have us do it and once that's over it's nothing else to do or you have to use real money to get microtransactions to to get the items that you want from that event it's fucking stupid like the microtransactions be i swear microtransactions kill games sometimes because you could just buy whatever the fuck you want like oh i'm gonna put 20 dollars on here and get the whole armor set that i want and a weapon like that's fucking stupid like i i rather have microtransactions give you give you unique items that you cannot you will not be able to get period in a mission or anything like that gives you so, a unique aesthetic not weapons that you can use against people but like aesthetic stuff like maybe a buff maybe a experience boost or something like that like i hate when they give you microtransactions that you could basically get in the game if you play it like i can just play a mission a couple times farm this and i could get this whole armor set but then you got where microtransactions the whole armor set ten dollars there you go you put money on a car and go buy the whole armor set it's fucking stupid to me man like i don't i don't like i don't really like microtransactions in some games like i really just think that's just the easy way out and it's it defeats the purpose of playing a game that's just me um but i would like to see more events better trading better story uh or not better trading but a trading system a better story a broader bounty system and mission system um a bigger fire team a fire team group a five man or six man and a four man um and shit that's pretty much it uh better character aesthetics like colors shaders gun aesthetics clips barrels uh scopes actually where you can go out in the world and get a drop for a different scope a different clip something like that i would like better gun modding if you want to say um but really, man, that's that's like my rundown on what I want to see in Destiny 2, man. Like, as far as like the towers and the social spaces, they pretty good with that. I don't have no complaints about that. Um, 
I wish you can have some kind of like a uh, place where you can go to actually shoot and test out gun damage and gun effects where you can actually because, you know, if they bring in clips and barrels and, you know, different stocks and stuff like that on guns, it'll give you critical, uh, maybe a weapon effect, uh, something like that. So a place where you can go and actually test that out on a dummy and, you know, but that's that's actually reaching into a. MMO aspect because you know, a lot of MMOs have practice dummies where you can go in and test your character out and do it and do adjustment adjustments there So if they can do something like that, but without having that MM, MMO aspect to it would be dope But basically putting that kind of stuff in the game is basically turning into an MMO. So um, But other than that man I think that's really it and your ghost. Oh another thing I wanted it, uh, to see was your ghost actually helps you fight actually shoots actually has a actually has something they can do shoot uh maybe buff you maybe uh grab materials for you maybe do some kind of effect like your ghost actually helps you do things instead of scanning the world and talking to you and all that bull and giving you like a little buff here and there a skill tree it actually has an effect and your ornaments actually have an effect where you put an ornament on, it actually gives you some kind of buff, a, a overshield or some crazy shit like that. I would love to see that, man. That that would be awesome if they was throw that in there. Um, as far as the weapons, I think they did a pretty good job. I would like to see some different type of swords, um, some different type of hand weapons, like two hand weapon, one hand weapon, maybe like a dual sword or something like that. Um, but other than that, dude, like, that's pretty much it for me. Um, it's probably some stuff that I really wanted to see. I should have made a list, but I'm just going off the top of the head. And if you want to see my first video, I'll actually put that link in the description and let you check that out and see if I still got the same type of things that I want to see in each video and um, let you go from there. But basically, he's talking about if you want to check out Eric's man, please check out his channel. It's dude's. He hits on a lot of topics, a lot of information as far as Destiny, Division, and any other game that is somewhat similar like this. He does a lot of great videos on there, and I use his content a lot. So shout out to him on that. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for me, man. What I want to see out of Destiny 2. If you got anything you want to see, comment down below. Like this video, man. Hit that like button. The, the dope boys and girls that's watching this, please just smash that like button, man. Help me get this content out here. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's your boy, it's Wiggs from the UGGC, the Urban Gamer Gaming Community Group, Mr. Swag Gamer, Mr. Team Nerd. You know what time it is, man. Mr. Quick Pick himself in the building, in the flesh. Keep it gaming, keep it peace, keep it swag. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces!